Final Fantasy XIII is the most gorgeous game in the series and it's not even close. While barring a certain recent remake, I would still say for a game released 10 years before it, Final Fantasy XIII more than gives Final Fantasy VII Remake a run for its money. Hello and welcome back to the channel, Holiday LC here, and today I want to talk about some Final Fantasy XIII. Over the last few weeks, as I made my journey through Cocoon, Grand Pulse, and the absolutely stunning Eden while replaying Final Fantasy XIII, I was constantly in a state of awe at the visual splendor on my screen. Despite this being my third full playthrough of the series, I'd never remembered it looking quite this brilliant. I remember a few years ago when the game had its launch on Steam, I remember seeing a lot of like screenshots on Twitter and Reddit about people saying, wow, this game looks crazy, and when the game dropped on Xbox, the enhanced versions that showed up there were an absolute revelation for most of the playing audience. So inevitably my curiosity got the best of me and I kind of wanted to see firsthand just how much this visual overhaul would impact my original sentiments about the game. You see, while I always had a major soft spot for Final Fantasy XIII, I, like many others, would agree that the game has more than a few major concessions that you as a player have to be willing to make, depending on your backgrounds with RPGs and your expectations for a Final Fantasy story diving into this world. Years ago, when I first played this game, one of my major early hangups with this title was its art direction and world design never truly felt as realized as it should, and at worst times, it felt a bit like a smattering of colors on a canvas. Back then, throughout my playthrough, it was clear to see that some of the artistic expression from the development team was a bit at the mercy of the available technology of its time. While it was still able to pull off some truly impressive visuals for its era, I hazard a guess to say that they weren't able to truly see their creative intention fully realized. Coming from other titles in the series such as FF10, 12, and 9, this title felt just a wee bit too homogenized at times. Back then, everything from the game's UI to the world visuals just wasn't doing it for me. Nothing outside of all the characters having exotic hair colors really showcased the art direction and vibrancy that they were attempting to go for. But then again, this was years ago when most of us were experiencing this story for the first time on a glorious 480p television. Again, intentions realized. So with my most recent playthrough, I wanted to see if I could make this the absolute pinnacle of a Final Fantasy experience visually. So with the help of the super nifty Nova Chrysalia launcher to get the game running at 4K and a few choice mods including the stellar HD Models Plus mods from the guys over at Nexus Mods and just for some icing on the cake I added an additional visual shader mod and let me tell you man the results are absolutely phenomenal. And throughout my playthrough I would just take a few moments in each new area or dungeon just to drink in the surroundings and visuals on display. It is absolutely glorious. And that's not to say that any of these things are necessary to enjoy the story in the world of Final Fantasy XIII. Just to be clear, I think for the most part it stands up masterfully as long as you have access to at least an HD display of any type. Now outside of graphical fidelity, one thing that constantly deepened my immersion throughout my playthrough was actually getting to rightfully experience the visual vibrancy of the art style that art lead Mr. Samu chose. This is undoubtedly this game's absolute X factor. It doesn't skimp on using all the colors in the spectrum to maximum efficiency. You want your main character to have pink hair? You got it. Orange hair? No problem. It is a constant orgy of colors on the screen at any given time. This is something that helps provide Final Fantasy XIII a sharp contrast from its siblings within the series. And some of the character designs look like they came straight out of Star Ocean or the Tell series, which is a refreshing change of pace from some of the more conventional designs that we've gotten from Final Fantasy over the years. This also extends to combat and enemy design as well. For example, the enemy Orion, who you fight often throughout the game, always struck me as kind of a standard enemy type, but on my most recent playthrough, I was able to see all the details and little intricacies that were added to most enemy designs, including these little eye sensors that shift during battle. Some of these little details really go a long way. And don't get me started on the magic in this game. The spells have never looked this good. Have you seen how Waterer looks in this game, or Faraga? They look absolutely spellbounding. They are some of the most visually satisfying spells to pull off in any of the series and even the summon animations, which I think are easily the best in the series. I could go on, but you get the idea. The more I think about it, with Final Fantasy XIII being the most tech-based Final Fantasy by far, I think it's only natural that our own technological advances would help make this world more fully realized. In closing, I have a few final thoughts about why I think this title was crafted in such a stylistic and cinematic manner. You see, I think Final Fantasy XIII is designed everything from its world navigation to its battle engine, more so than any other mainline title, feels like its primary goal is to provide visual spectacle. Whether it be within its terrain, or its dungeon designs, 
or the way that the camera focuses during battle, it really feels like you're a floating passenger right behind your cast members watching the story unfold. Now many have their opinions about how this affects the overall interactiveness of this game and its ability to meaningfully engage players consistently. I completely understand some of the hallway simulator commentary that has been lobbed at this game since its release, but on my most recent playthrough, I think I finally understand why Final Fantasy XIII is the way it is. With this game being one of the big guns for the upcoming next gen of consoles, it's my theory that one of the main goals for this development team was to make this title the pinnacle visually when it comes to next gen launches to demonstrate the capability of the next generation of consoles. This was to be a system seller and push the collective thinking forward when it came to what was visually possible. And I gotta say, hands down, they absolutely achieved this goal, even if it came at the cost of a much more linear and streamlined structure than previous entries. So let me know what you guys think. Have you played Final Fantasy 13? If so, what did you think of the visuals and is it better than you remember? Let me know what you guys think down in the comments and make sure you subscribe for future upcoming RPG and Final Fantasy content. LC signing out. Happy holidays.